Alfred was blown away by the advancement in technology. When he made Spider-Man 2, his arms were puppets. We had four or five guys moving him around at a time. Alfred, you know, his act though is just to watch him work. He's so funny. Once they say cut, I mean, bro, the jokes and everything like that is just like non-stop. Is that, is that 40 with a GH or? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. All right, roll it. But when he gets into his bag, and he plays an interesting character to where you feel like he's conflicted. Like he, out of all of us, seems like, yo, I want to maybe live a regular life, go to a club or something. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting some visitors. From every universe. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way! There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. You're not gonna take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. Damn it. You want while the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. Exclusively in movie theaters.